Hey what's up everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on how to generate random passwords with JavaScript and HTML. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a function that allows you to generate a random password with customizable options such as the password length, the allowed character set for the password and if we want to exclude the duplicate characters or not. We will be using an HTML form to specify the desired password options and to also display the generated password. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing that I will do in this index.html file is to add some HTML scaffolding and now let's add the script element. So for the password generation function, let's just name it as generate password. The arguments are going to be length of the password and then if numbers are allowed or not similarly if uppercase characters and lowercase characters and symbols are allowed or not and if we want to exclude the duplicate characters okay the first thing that we need to do is to create a variable which is going to hold the character set the allowed character set so let's do that so if numbers are allowed then in this character set we are going to append all the numbers from 0 to 9 so they are just 0 1 2 3 up to 9 now let's copy this condition and for the uppercase for lowercase and for symbols we are going to do the same thing only the character set is going to be different which is going to be appended so this is for uppercase this is for lowercase and this is for the symbols now next we are going to create a while loop but for that let's also create an array which is going to hold the individual password characters let's initialize this array as an empty array now this while loop it is going to run until we have found or we have filled this password array up to the length of the password which is desired with all the applicable or valid characters so while password array dot length is less than the length which has been provided as an argument the first thing that we will do is we will get a random character from our character set this characters so for that let's just use math.floor and then math.random multiplied by the length of the character set so characters.length and now we just have to push to the password array this random character that we have found but here's one thing we also have this no duplicates flag over here so if we want to disallow addition of any duplicate characters into the password array we have to use a condition so if no duplicates is false or if no duplicates is true but if the password array does not already includes the character that we want to add we can safely push this random character into our password array and that's pretty much everything finally we have to return the password by simply using array.join and using a empty character as the separator for the individual password characters and that's it our password generation function is ready but how to test it to test this function we are going to create an HTML form. The HTML form is very straightforward. We are just going to add a bunch of inputs for the length of the password, if numbers should be included or not. And for that, we are using checkbox. Similarly, for uppercase characters, lowercase symbols, and no duplicates. And then finally, there is a button which, when clicked, will call this generate function. Let me just show you how this form looks like. So this is how this form currently looks but it will not work because we have not implemented this generate function 
apart from this form we will also need the placeholder or the element to output the password and for that i'm going to add a p element or a paragraph element let's just set its id value as output now let's create the generate function the first thing that we need to do is to get the references of all the inputs and then we have to generate the random password and then finally we have to show the password so to get the reference of all the inputs it's pretty straightforward actually for example to fetch the length we just have to use document dot get element by id and then we will just provide the id length and then we will fetch the value similar to this we can fetch the values or the boolean values for all the checkboxes as well now to generate the random password we just have to call this generate password function so const password equals to generate password now first let's provide the length which is an integer so for that i'm going to use parse int and then length now let's provide the rest of the values such as the numbers are allowed or not uppercase actually i think i can just copy all of these values all right okay so we have the password now it's time to show the password and for that i'm going to fetch the reference of this p element so document dot get element by id the id is output dot inner html equals to password right and that should be enough now let's test our code okay so let's click on generate password the password is getting generated successfully include symbols let's increase the length and exclude duplicate characters it's also working but here is one catch over here because we have the constraint to exclude duplicate characters if the character set length is not enough then there won't be enough characters to generate the password so in that case we have to output a message that the password length is not valid for the arguments which have been selected so to do that we are going to make some changes to our generate password function the first thing that we will do is we will create a variable which will be called as max length its initial value is going to be zero now for every single type of character set we are going to increment the value of max length so the length of numbers character set is 10 so we are going to increment it by 10 similarly for the uppercase and lowercase we can increment by 26 like this and for symbols again we can increment by 10 because its count is 10 and then we have to add a condition which says if no duplicates is true and the length which is desired is more than max length then we have to return a message which will say let's just use a template string so we have to return a message error password length should be or actually should not be more than the max length characters for the specified options now let's again test our code okay so i am going to remove everything and only include numbers let's set the length of the password as 25 and generate the password so right now the password can be generated because duplicates are allowed but when i will click on this checkbox then let's see what happens now it says error password length should not be more than 10 characters now let's see 10 characters generate password now the password is generated for 11 it will not generate for anything 10 and less the password will be generated similarly let's include the uppercase characters as well and let's set the length as um, i think 40 again it says error and 
So look, 26 plus 10 is 36. So let's use 36. Now the password is generated. 37. Error. So our test cases are passing and this function looks to be working. And that's it. Now you have a fully functioning password generator that allows the user to customize their password options and display the generated password. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on future tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.